so like if you're blocking you're in your style of blocking do you like look at the reference and you're like hey on frame 23 the right hand reaches its arc here so like that's a key pose for like that limb and then like do you look at like key poses of the body parts or do you like is it like storytelling poses for your blocking right. yeah i mean it depends right because most of the time yeah no god but you're right though no but try, okay. there are times where i i can even analyze a shot in a, in a film and i'm like i don't know where the keys are i can't tell and that's a clue to me that maybe this animator layered everything in and oh. actually keyframe poses okay so dear god okay well for one okay some of these are hard to answer because look so there are certain things that i look for all the time right things that i i call knowns there are things that i know are going to happen right we know that contact poses are going to happen right mm -hmm. i know that in any kind of movement probably a passing position is going to happen right so those two poses are always a given for me but yeah but what what happens if i hit a gesture somewhere in here between what do i do right <laughs> And so I'll make a judgment call sometimes to make a breakdown and call it a pose. Cause I, I don't get hung up on, oh, this is a storytelling pose. This is a breakdown pose. I don't care if it's, if it's something I'm putting, oh, here, this is my hard rule. If I'm going to pose anything in blocking, I key the whole body. So it's irrelevant what I call it. As soon as I spline the shot, I don't do that ever again. I never block, the, I never key the whole body ever again, ever. Oh. Cause, okay. cause I don't need to. Cause now I'm splining. Now I'm looking at what's going wrong and I just go fix those things everywhere. Mm. So I never need to key the body again. So I will key the whole body just to anchor it because yeah. I just have, I have confidence now that everything is like not going to go anywhere. Okay. But um, when it comes to posing, few controls as possible, right? So I'll be like, okay, head. Sometimes I don't even end with the neck. Like forget it. If I need it, I'll do it. But if I don't need to, if you can't tell then who cares? So I'll do the <laughs> head. I'll do the chest mover. If there's mid body movers, I'll try to avoid them if I can and pick the one that matters. And then the cog is always, for me, translate only, no rotation, and then pelvis. That's it. If I can just do that mm. for the torso, great. You know? So you're not taking the whole body before spline and baking it? Never, ever. Oh, man. <laughs> All right, I didn't do any, but I was like, oh, man, I'm so glad I asked that because that's, that's. Yeah, the, that was my plan. Was that's. Yes. <laughs> Travis, hey, hold! Stop! You're welcome to. Yeah. <laughs> you're welcome to, to bake it out if you want to. You know, but there's That's no really reason to for what you're trying to do. Okay, uh, there we go. I, I have a question again, but what if your character like spins around himself? <laughs> yeah, like, do you use rotation on the way? I, I'm not sure if it's even possible to rotate the character from like hips and chest on the It's should be your gene, or am I doing something wrong? No, I do it all the time. Like I might, I might take the cog mover and like translate it up here and then rotate pelvis and rotate the middle body mover and rotate the chest, rotate the head one at a time. Or if you have Animbot and you can select all those things and then just turn a tool on down here and then rotate the character and all the movers will go with it. Or if you want to rotate the cog, rotate the cog. That's just me. I, just, I don't do it. You're, you can totally do it. That's not a no-no. Everybody rotates the cog mover, just not me. <laughs> Well, let me be clear though. The only reason why I don't do that is because at Bungie, to get our uh, animation into the engine, we take the rotations off the cog mover and we do that through a tool. And so I just said, well, why use the tool? Why, why just not animate the cog? And so I just stopped doing it on like one day. But here's the caveat though, and keep this in mind, that Bungie rigs are chest mover, mid body mover, pelvis mover that's it i've got three controls so it's way different you might have head neck chest mid body mid body mid body lower mid body cog <laughs> pelvis right and that's different 